keep the ball, score some points. They have a chance against this Ram team after getting beat up in week one. A Rams team that gets Matthew Stafford back today. He did not play last time out because of a thumb injury, but he's good to go today. Yeah, and it's simple. When Matthew Stafford plays since he became a Ram in this matchup. Jason Myers, and we're underway at SoFi Stadium. It is a touchback. He has the second lowest completion rate when targeted in the league. And for the Rams, star wide receiver Cooper Cup, he's back in the lineup averaging 15.9 yards per game, guys. AJ, thank you. Daryl Henderson starts at running back and Matthew Stafford back under center for the Rams. On first down, a give to Henderson. He runs right in to Trey Brown. Matthew Stafford did not play two weeks ago against Green Bay on the season. Eight touchdowns, seven interceptions, trying to get him back in a rhythm. Yeah, I think the numbers are the numbers, but Sean McVay talked to us about just how much Matthew Stafford means to this team and how he makes the guys around him better and gives them a chance. And you saw it against Green Bay a couple of weeks ago. They really had no shot with him out there, so this is massive for the Rams to have him back out there distributing the football for them. Second down and eight, Stafford steps up in the pocket and down he goes. Stafford is sacked by Devin Witherspoon. Devin with third sack of the year. Devin Witherspoon making his case known for defensive rookie of the year. You see him just sneaking in, getting a sack on Matt Stafford. This is what they're going to have to do, Seattle, defensively. And now third and long, pressure coming again. Stafford gets rid of it to Henderson at the 19. Henderson gets to the 30 and stops short of a first down. Reek Woolen on the tackle after a gain of eight, and it's a three and out for the Rams. Well, Tiki, you mentioned it. They needed to be better on third down, and one of the things they had to do was get after the passer, and Boye Mafe has done it all year. You saw him there rushing the passer, forcing Matthew Stafford to get it out of his hands quickly and allow the secondary to rally and tackle, but a really good start, one of the things you talked about in the open. Ethan Evans, the rookie from Wingate, punting to DJ Dallas. High kick, driving Dallas back to his 12, where he calls for a fair catch. A 58-yard punt. And then here comes Geno Smith, who had a big day against the Commanders last Sunday. A career high, 369 yards passing. 369 yards. He really had 111 air yards. The rest of it was yards after the catch. And you got to commend Dino or Geno Smith for all of the hard work that it took for him. On to first down, it's Walker finding some space up the middle across the 15. And up to the 18-yard line, Akello Witherspoon on the stop. Tyler Lockett was listed as questionable today because of a hamstring injury. Did not practice all week, but he is active. Pete Carroll told us that Lockett did some running in Seattle yesterday morning before the team flew to L.A., and he looked good, but it's something to keep an eye on this afternoon. Pressure's coming. Geno Smith gets rid of it to Walker. And he's wrapped up by Michael Hoyt. Nice tackle by the third-year linebacker. A loss of two on the play. And the Rams get Ernest Jones back today. He did not play in their last game against Green Bay because of a knee injury. He is their leading tackler on the season. We opened the broadcast talking about how the Rams or the Seahawks have not been good on third down. And this is one of the reasons why. Third and long has been very difficult for them to overcome. This is kind of third and medium, but a conversion here really helps their case. Third and six. Smith with time. Now throws, and he's got Lockett, and he's got a first down. Tackle made by Darion Kendrick, but Lockett gets nine, and then a late flag flies. Our referee today is Carl Sheffers. Flag on the play is likely to go against the Rams Personal here. Personal foul, defense number one. 15 yards will be added to the end of the play. Automatic, first down. And that's been a big problem all year for Kendrick. That's his eighth penalty of the season. It's 
really nice by Tyler Lockett just coming down the stem at the top of his route to convert that third down and just you can't have those type of penalties when you're a three and six football team trying to get over that hump and start to catch a rhythm. But for the Seattle Seahawks to convert that first third down of the game you have to go to your best players DK Metcalf Tyler Lockett really good job by Geno Smith getting to one of his premier guys and converting that first third down of the game. And off to Walker on the right side gets away from one tackle and upended at the line of scrimmage and there is Kendrick coming up to make the tackle. Now Kendrick was benched for most of the game against Green Bay two weeks ago but Kobe Durant is inactive today. The corner is out with a shoulder injury so Kendrick back on the field for this Rams defense. And it was a good tackle setting the edge the outside of the defense taking away some of that outside run that Seattle loves to do Raheem Morris mentioned to us if this was one of the keys for this defense for this Rams defense to take away that edge run against this back. Now what's going on in the backfield there a couple of tight ends and a receiver in Bobo and a screen to Bobo at the 40 across the 45 and tackled a yard shot the first down and we talked to offensive coordinator Shane Waldron about some of these different formations. He takes a lot of stuff from college. Yeah, he absolutely does. And you're going to see it back here. They've got three guys in the backfield moving around. And he said to be explosive, to, 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 to create new ways to create big plays. And right there, they use one of, you know, their utility guys. And Jake Bobo to, on the screen pass for a good gain on first, uh, second down to put him in a third and short. Third and one, Charbonnet up the middle, and he's got the first down. Back in his home state, Camarillo, California native, played about 50 miles away at Oaks Christian, and he moves the chains for Seattle. They have two really diverse backs here in Seattle. Kenneth Walker is, is a little bit jittery. He's trying to hit the home run. Some of these plays, you saw it on the carry a couple of plays ago. He's going to try to find seams, whereas Zach Charbonnet is just going to get downhill. He wants to run over people. <laughs> Charbonnet and Walker in the backfield here. It's a handoff to Walker. He's got some room. And Walker across the 45. Down at the 43-yard line. Quinton Lake on the tackle after a gain of five. That was another set where they had two guys in the backfield, Tiki. And it's one of the things we talked to Raheem Morris on the defensive side of the ball for the Rams. How do you adjust to that? How do you set your front, set your coverage, all of those types of things? And he said to us, you've got to keep it really simple. When they're putting all this eye candy in front of you, you have to keep it very simple and read your keys. Second and five, Geno Smith taking a shot and along the sideline, Smith and Jigba inbounds. What a catch by the rookie and a 23-yard pickup.